we use several different lasers in ophthalmology. Um, the ones I specialize in are the retinal lasers and the ones at the back of the eye, uh, which we predominantly use for diabetes and sometimes for vein occlusions or macroaneurysms. And we also use lasers to treat retinal tears. In diabetes, if someone um, starts to develop some leaking blood vessels at the back of the eye or some swelling away from the central part of the back of the eye, often some focal laser treatment can be very effective at sealing off the blood vessels. And if the swelling is more severe or close to the central part, then we often favour the injection treatments um, over the laser in the first instance. If the blood supply in the periphery uh, part of the retina starts to fail, which results in the growth of abnormal blood vessels, either growing on the retina or on the iris at the front of the eye, we often perform a more um, extensive laser treatment called pan-retinal photocoagulation. Uh, and this can be performed both for diabetes and for retinal vein occlusions. So most laser treatments can be carried out as an outpatient and are relatively straightforward. After you've had your vision checked and your dilating drops put in your eye, your doctor will put in some numbing drops followed by a special lens uh, to stop you blinking. You'll then have a bright light shone into the eye uh, from a machine that's very similar to the one that we use to examine your eyes in the clinic. And then you'll hear a beeping noise uh, when the laser is delivered. If you're having uh, just a focal laser treatment, either for diabetes or for a retinal tear, um, this is usually really quick and simple and it's not painful at all. Um, the laser helps to seal off the leaking blood vessels and helps to seal the tear so it can have a very long term effect. It's really important to keep your eye really still um, so that it, it doesn't, um, the doctor doesn't laser the wrong part of your eye. If you, um, if you need to have the more extensive pan-retinal laser, laser photocoagulation, this can be a little bit more uncomfortable at times, um, especially when we're lasering around the periphery of the retina. But this laser uh, can um, help to prevent the further growth of the abnormal blood vessels, which can sometimes bleed into the eye. So this does depend on the type of laser you're having. Um, it usually can be carried out in one go, especially if you're having the focal laser treatment or you need um, the retinal tear, a retinal tear lasered. Um, but if you're having the more extensive pan-retinal photocoagulation, this needs to be usually carried out over a, a couple of sessions, two or three sessions, and they're usually about two or three weeks apart. So the risks um, are really very low with laser treatment. There's no risk of any infection. Um, you may feel a bit dazzled immediately after the, the laser treatment, but that tends to go away after just a few minutes. Um, and with the focal laser treatment, it's really important to keep the eye still so the doctor doesn't laser the wrong part of the, the eye, uh, as that can result in a small spot in the, in the vision. Uh, but this is really very rare. If you need to have the pan-retinal laser treatment, this is slightly more uncomfortable um, at the time of the laser. Uh, we usually ask you to take a few simple painkillers um, just in the morning and before the start of the treatment. But most people tolerate it really well. It can, however, affect your night vision after the um, procedure and can reduce your peripheral vision if you need to have a lot of extensive laser treatment. But this, but this laser treatment can be very effective at help, helping to uh, maintain your sight in the long term uh, and it can reduce the risk of bleeding from abnormal blood vessels at the back of the eye, which can lead to blindness um, if they're untreated. So the recovery again depends on the type of laser that you have. Um, the focal laser treatment or lasering a retinal tear only takes a few minutes to recover from and the dazzling usually fades after about five minutes or so. The PRP laser however can take a little bit longer so for about 24 hours you might have a few visual disturbances or a few flashing lights uh, in the evening of, after the treatment and sometimes you have a bit of a headache. Um, you should have been back to normal however in about one to two days uh, after the laser. If you have any longer lasting side effects, uh, then you must contact your doctor. Uh, and the effect of the laser can last for several months um, and it can take a, a lot, quite a long time for it to have its maximum effect. So um, you, need, you may need to have the laser treat, treated again, again uh, after this time, uh, especially if the retinal problem uh, persists or if it recurs. Um, but it's quite safe to repeat it after about four months or so um, and can be repeated a few times. 